Hello, it's Becca and welcome to The Carriage House, a place where you can find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. I'm in my kitchen putting groceries away on this cold, wintry afternoon. It's fairly quiet in the house at the moment. Our youngest has taken his afternoon nap and my husband is in our basement playing retro style video games with our other ones. So I must say I don't mind enjoying the quiet while putting everything away. I'll also be making a cup of warm tea with amber tea sugar while I clean and wash the produce. But I'm really glad you're here and so glad you stopped by for a visit. I decided to put a little background music on just to create a cozy atmosphere in the kitchen and to elevate the everyday mundane a little. And these quiet moments can be rare in our home, but I guess that's what makes these moments more special. I can take the time to recenter myself and refuel my mama tank, so to speak. We do online shopping and pickup now. My husband is usually the one to pick up our groceries, and him and my oldest son usually hauls everything in, while my youngest son and daughter help put everything away. But this afternoon, I was craving a bit more inner peace and solitude, so I didn't mind being in the kitchen while the kids played. And of course we have all gluten-free food for our daughter has celiac disease. And this one was a much smaller haul than we normally do. We try to go two to three weeks between hauls, but we were getting low on breakfast and lunch type of foods. And I was also really craving some fresh fruits and vegetables. So after I put the frozen food away in the freezer, I was craving a nice cup of warm good matcha tea. So I filled our kettle with water and placed it on the stove to heat. So while the water for tea was heating up, I began to unload the refrigerated food. Things like juice, cheeses, hummus, and since our chickens don't lay quite as many eggs in the winter, we got an extra couple of dozen of fresh eggs. And the paper bags I'll probably store in the garage, and when springtime comes, we'll use them in the garden to help prevent weeds from making their appearance. We need more wood chips to line our garden this spring, so laying down thick paper or cardboard underneath the chips really helps with the invasion of the weeds. Of course, there's certain ones I don't quite mind as much, like dandelion. So now I'm going to make that gamaicha tea. I love this tea. We bought it on Amazon, I believe, but it's a Japanese brown rice green tea. And I'm sure you may know of it, but some of the brown rice is roasted and popped, and all that gives the tea a wonderful, warm, nutty type of flavor. And the green tea itself has a light, grassy, herbal flavor. So it's all a very nice combination. But especially being cold out, it's perfect to sip on while relaxing or while putting groceries away. But it's one of my favorites. If you haven't tried it, you should. tea is steeping I'm going to put up the refrigerated groceries. I try to plan our meals out for the week on the weekends and since it's Sunday I should have everything I need for all of our meals this week. I like to make a little menu of some kind. It might be, it might be kind of corny but the kids like it but I uh, place it in the kitchen so everybody can see 
Usually by Thursday, I'm really tired, so I label Thursdays as mystery dinner nights. And if I do have the energy to make what I had planned, then great. Otherwise, it'll probably be just some pasta with a marinara sauce or maybe even leftovers if we have them. Or my husband will pull something together. And Saturday nights, he usually cooks a nice dinner, and Fridays, we do pizza. For this week tonight, I plan to make a healthy homemade lentil soup with fresh spring rolls. Monday, I plan to make fish tacos with a creamy cilantro lime sauce. Tuesday, I'm hoping to do a slow cooker potato soup, so pretty simple. And Wednesday, I plan to make a French chicken a la namande, which is a type of chicken that is braised in apple cider and served with fried apple slices. And probably going to make some creamy mashed potatoes to go with it. I love to cook and I love trying out at least one new recipe per week and if we like it we can add it to our favorites and if not then we just kind of do away with it and of course Thursday is our mystery dinner night and I'm just setting my produce over by the sink so I can wash them and store them in the refrigerator so that way everything will be clean and washed and ready for the week just one less thing to worry about especially during the busy homeschooling days is in collaboration with Emerging Green, a small family business that sells lifestyle products made of sustainable materials. And we have a gorgeous birdhouse of theirs that we just recently received from them. And it has a little detachable perch and it's, it's just beautiful. I'm really, really excited about spring just talking about this little birdhouse. But I love supporting small family businesses because oftentimes they're the ones that have some of the most unique things to offer. But this particular birdhouse is made of reforested pine wood and we hung ours on our tree right outside our kitchen window next to our bird feeder. And the installation process is very simple. I just love observing the behavior of birds. Sometimes I can get lost in thought just simply watching them out this window while washing dishes or making dinner. It actually makes doing the dishes fun. If you have a window in front of your kitchen sink, then definitely take advantage of it and place a bird feeder or a little, you know, little bird house like this one on a tree or conduit of some kind and you can watch the wildlife gather around your little kitchen window but definitely check emerging green out i will leave their information down below and they are offering 10 percent only to you guys and they are currently selling their birdhouses on amazon which is always reliable
berries and blueberries dry a little more, I went ahead and took out the pantry items out of the bags and put them away. I noticed the kids were starting to emerge from their cave down below, so I knew my quiet mama time was probably coming to an end very soon, so I wanted to make the best of it. So I decided to just sit the rest of my tea, enjoy the flickering flames of the candles nearby, and listen to some good old indie folk music. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest So now I'm getting some of those snack bar types of foods that the kids always love to have either in between meals or between our homeschool lessons. But I've noticed the pantry ends up being better organized if I just do this and recycle the boxes. But all I have here are Annie's gluten-free Rice crispy bars, some chocolate chip granola bars, and those cranberry whenever bars. I always want to say whatever bars, but I believe they are called whenever bars. And they're usually found in the health food sections. They have blueberry, lemon, chocolate ones, and all kinds of flavors. I also have some hot chocolate cups that we all like to have while we do school. So I'm putting them in this little container here that we keep near our coffee maker. There's a few other ones in here. I think there's a spiced apple cider left over from autumn time and a vanilla chai latte hanging around in here. But I have learned time and time again and I'm finally fully practicing it now. It's taken me a really long time. But if I want to run a successful homeschool while successfully mothering and parenting my kids that are of all ages, all while trying to keep my sanity and enjoy life here and there, of course, then I have to prepare for the week ahead because if I don't, it goes all downhill and then I end up taking everyone with me, which is not a good thing. So I'm going to do this and then finish washing and putting the fruit and vegetables away.
So I'm finally putting the last of the fruit away. I have a few Anjou pears that I'm placing in a bowl here that's in our hutch in our dining room. And then going to finally wash our romaine lettuce, celery, and cilantro and put those away. So this afternoon has finally come to an end. The music has been played, the birdhouse has been hung, the fruit has been washed, the tea has been sipped, the children have been loved, and all that has been will happen again when Sunday rolls around once again. <laughs>